morning. <laughs> My voice is still messed up. But uh, somebody asked me in the comments if I'm still doing yoga. Yeah, um, I miss a day or two in a week, but basically I do it every morning. But um, I showed it to you for a month, so I'm just skipping it in these vlogs. <sighs> I'm totally out of breath. Let's get some breakfast. Yeah, food. This is so incredibly good. It's lemon rice and there's I, there's chana, so chickpeas in between. And also I have mata paneer, also so good. It's a tomato gravy with um, peas and paneer, of course. Oh yeah, come to Melma. My tummy is full. Let's go look for the Beatles ashram. They stayed here, um, I think in the 19... 1967 or 1970s, something like that, uh, in, the, in the Maharishi Mahesh Yogi Ashram. And Maharishi Mahesh Yogi is in the Netherlands. He has an ashram there now. So the ashram is deserted, but uh, let's see if we can find the remains of it. And this is how they make sugarcane juice. I already saw this before in Hong Kong. It's really cool. Every last drop is being squeezed out of the sugarcane. It's insane. So many sadhus on the side of the river. Sadhus are um, spiritual men who are searching for enlightenment by, well, not attaching to anything. So they just live here and meditate and they get food from the people. They're not allowed to beg, so if one of them is begging, then it's a fake one. We have reached a small, well, small, it's actually quite long market area next to the Ganges and I just saw this fruit I guess it's fruit but I have no idea what it is does anyone have an idea? what is it? Ram fruit what is it? Ram fruit Nam fruit? Ram, Ram. Ram fruit oh, never heard of it looks interesting I hate admitting I'm too afraid to do something but I'm too afraid to taste the fruit so I, I'm just afraid it's not hygienic enough and I will get sick and I have to be in the bus tomorrow for six hours so I'm not going to take that risk. Hello my little friend. <laughs> she just came up to me. I don't know, maybe it's a he. I love all the cows here. It's amazing. I want a cow in my house. <laughs> just to cuddle with it. <laughs> Look at this amazing temple by the way. Look at this. How gorgeous is this image? The river is so much broader over here. And I bet there's a really strong current. There was a guy just swimming. But it's it's quite shallow over here, so it's fine. I highly recommend you to take a plunge in the Ganges River if you're a Rishikesh. It's amazing. Oh man, this is why I love India. We're at the Beatles Ashram now. I'm just going to show you in a minute if there's anything interesting to see. But actually, this place is closed, so you're not allowed in. But because this is India, the guard asks you 100 rupees and you can just get in. <laughs> it's hilarious. Not that much to see. Just the pods. Which look cute though. As far as pods can look cute, they look cute. So they are meditation pods I guess. To protect you against the heat but I don't know man. Yeah so there are a lot of pods and this is what it looks like inside a pod. I don't feel really safe being by myself here and just walking into a pod, but I have you. So there's a washroom over here and there's a stairs going up. Uh, yeah, I'm not going up those stairs. But yeah, so this is more you see when you look through the window hmm okay yeah no this place looks deserted apart from a group of guys I'm not saying they're doing anything but I'm just not going to take any risk being here by myself and honestly this has nothing to do with India even if I was in any other place in the world even if I was in Hong Kong and I was in such a deserted place and it was just a group of guys I wouldn't complain so uh, yeah, I guess this is it for the Beatles ashram. Uh, in my opinion, not worth a hundred rupees. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm not that enthusiastic because I feel a little bit sick. 
Mm. And some of you would say, uh, no is Sherlock, you jumped into the Ganges River, which is cold yesterday while having a cold. So no wonder you're feeling sick today. I know, I know, it was totally worth it though. I would do it again. I just don't feel very well right now and I just want to sit on a terrace and drink the best masala chai and just look over the Ganges and be lazy. So let's do that. My boyfriend Stefan doesn't know it yet, but we have a new roommate. Her name is Greet and I'm just taking her with me because she's so cute. Look at her. Look at her. I will dump everything out of my backpack and just put her in it. <laughs> How selfish would that be? Wow, but she is very cute though. Look at her. Oh, oh I love the cows here. Okay, do not step in the cow manure. It's not cool. <laughs> Remember Panda the dog from China? Well, we have a new panda. <laughs> it's such a cute little puppy and he's rolling all over the place. Hello. <laughs> He's so cute. You like the camera, don't you? Look at it. <laughs> oh. Let me rub your belly. Let me rub your belly. Come on. Yeah. Yep. Baby fell asleep. He likes the belly rubs. <laughs> He's so cute. Look, the sun is going down on the Ganges. I have this gorgeous view. A puppy sleeping next to me and the best masala chai ever. I asked them why, what's, what's in it, what makes it so special and the owner has a friend who provides him with fresh buffalo milk. So I knew it, there's something special about this masala chai. It's made with fresh buffalo milk. It tastes so good, so creamy. The sun is going down. This is really one of the most beautiful places I have ever been in my travels. It's so gorgeous, it's so peaceful. Hashtag best. I honestly feel like the luckiest girl in the world right now. Life is good. <laughs> the Ayurveda beauty heaven. And also, I have found a neti pot. I need this in my life because I have a really bad cold. But also, look, 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 they have like Ayurveda face wash and um, facial cream, of course, all kinds of oils. Yes, I'm going to be shopping here. Having dinner with Patrick, and he has a tally, and I have a tally as well. And so it's basically just what is this? Paratas? Uh, or well, yeah, they're, chapatis? They're rotis. Oh, rotis. Okay, rotis. And. Def, uh, dal and stuffs, I don't know what it's called. So, rice and um. puppet and curd, good food. Oh, I just talked to my boyfriend again. He was like, Ooh, your voice is so sexy. <laughs> Going back to Delhi tomorrow. Ah, there's a crazy Delhi, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 